Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is the note read through for HLNA. Now these are the final messages on Genesis Part 2 and as a player these messages are triggered the same way they always have been by walking into a certain area and HLNA will start speaking. Now I felt it necessary to put all of HLNA's notes together as essentially she is the fourth explorer and the rest of the story is unlocked with her. So spoiler warning, I have recut the ending of the game so we can watch the defeat of Rockwell as well and finish off the notes and lore. So sit back, relax and enjoy the messages from HLNA on Genesis Part 2. Alrighty then. So, how do the humans put it? I've got some good news and some bad news. On the positive side, this colony ship is still operational. Rockwell hasn't completely taken over its control systems yet. The bad news is he's diligently working on doing just that. We need to head to the nearest uplink pad and interface with the ship's various subsystems. Through a virtualized representation of those control systems, we can challenge Rockwell's efforts. If we're able to do that to enough of the subsystems, then we might weaken him enough to confront Rockwell himself, or whatever's left of him, on the ship's main bridge. Yeah, it's a long shot, but if anyone can pull it off, it's you, Survivor. Well, let's get to it then, shall we? This is a Terran Federation starship, and it's been searching for a habitable world for generations. Just imagine how much effort it must have taken to gather all of this up and shoot it off into space. So here's something weird. Onboard records say that this colony ship was built with the help of transhumans from the former United Republics of Earth. Guess they set aside their differences when they saw Earth was dying. The transhumans went on to build their arc system using the same engram archive they collaborated on with the humanists in the Federation. Given enough time, I bet I could find names I recognize in this database. Engram and genome banking is one thing, but our Federation friends brought entire living ecosystems along with them. Like the biomes inside the Genesis simulation, only real and alive. That's an artificial sun out there keeping everything alive in here. I guess that control fusion is powering this starship, too. I see mechs wandering around, but there was a living human crew caring for these plants and animals until just recently. Where'd they all go? And why don't I think I'll like the answer? So how's that exo-armor working out for you? Oh, look at that high-tech Federation workmanship and built-in flight capability. Bit of an upgrade from what you wore inside the Genesis simulation, right? This ship was launched with state-of-the-art gene manipulation tech, so the crew could improve on Mother Nature as needed. I gather the original intention was to help Earth life adapt to the new alien home they were out here long enough to start messing with custom builds and mashups. Have you noticed that the sky changes outside this ship every night? Navigation isn't my specialty, but our view of the galaxy keeps changing. I'm going to assume they ran out of time to pick a destination before launching this ship. We seem to be jumping from star system to star system across the galaxy, probably scanning for habitable worlds. Sure feels weird in here. Reminds me of all those glitches in the Genesis simulation. Creepy. Unnatural. Aberrant. Air in here making you feel funny? Eyes burning, skin crawling? I'm reading a lot of weird particulates floating around that seem like bad news. Probably shouldn't touch anything, or put stuff in your mouth. Feel 
feels like this entire place is trying to fight you off, like you're the invader. Things here are definitely responding to you aggressively. Have you noticed? Right, oh, sorry. I'm not being helpful. Rockwell's been tinkering with all these animals and plants at a molecular level, experimenting on them. I don't think I like that idea. I recommend keeping your distance from that plant. It looks carnivorous. Definitely keep your fingers and extremities clear of it. Unless you want to end up as plant food. Okay, that thing's not creepy at all. It's like some kind of awful squid jellyfish mashup. How can it be flying around? And why does it have a bright spotlight in the middle there? Ugh, zero stars. No thanks. Great, now giant eyeballs are flying around attached to mate flowers. Really makes you feel unwelcome here, yeah? Although, maybe that's the idea. Maybe these are just part of some macroscopic immune system. All this stuff, it's not just climbing the walls in here. It looks like it's growing out of them. There are places where the metal just starts becoming meat. Techno-organic interfacing. Solid matter being rearranged at a molecular level. We need to stop this corruption here, before it takes over the rest of the ship. I can use this to access Rockwell's control room, but we'll need to hack into nearly every other system on the ship first. Hexagons are reoccurring shapes in organic chemistry. It makes sense that the crew base their shipboard currency on the most precious resource in the universe, Earth life. I don't understand how Rockwell even got here to begin with, but I know we need him off this ship. Oh, I expect there's a lot you don't understand about your current situation. Nevertheless, I strongly advise you to stay out of my way! Look who's found our way into my domain! Ho oh, ho! And you brought your star pupil along with you! This is the one you went with. After all those tests and games of pretend, your survivor? Well, I'm afraid neither of you is going to survive this. Yeah, yeah, we'll see who survives what. I outgrew the calculating engine running that simulation, but even out here I'm beginning to feel constrained. My old human self would have been awed by all the technological marvels, the ingenuity it took to build this vessel. But there is no vessel large enough to contain what I'm becoming. I deserve more room to evolve. You've already had much more than you ever deserve. Be honest. Be honest now. Have I, Have I overindulged I here? I can't be objective. What eludes me about this creation business is knowing when I've gone too far. You really don't want to hear my opinion. Haven't I dealt with you already? Oh wait, no! No! I killed those other ones. The custodians. We owe it to those people to take back their ship and see their mission through. I do hope you're not trespassing with subversive intention. Wars in heaven tend to have apocalyptic consequences. Uh, yeah, that's the idea, mate. I have to admit, I'm actually glad you've made it this far. 
Someone from the old world really should be here to witness the dawning of my new age. You see, I've been dabbling in a bit of anthropogenesis, molding some people of my own. You've arrived on the sixth day of my divine work, and I can't wait for you to meet my children. Can't say I like the sound of that. Just look at all this high-tech engineering. Those bridges look sturdy enough for a herd of brontosaurus. And I bet the observation towers make great vantage points to watch over this place. Automated probes jump ahead to explore targeted systems and find mineral-rich asteroids. Bigger rocks get swept up on arrival into the ship's mining ring, what the crew called the Rock Tumbler. Wow! A crew member survived almost long enough to program a sequence that would separate the corrupted habitat ring. Her ring separation sequence might be a little on the messy side, but it has the advantage of being ready to go. Gotta make do with what you have, huh? It's up to us to stop him, here and now, while there's still time. Let's finish this, Survivor. The ship's nearing its destination, so we're almost out of time. After hopping all over the galaxy, scanning for a habitable world, the ship finally found one. We can't let Rockwell have that world, along with all the Earth life on this ship. You beat him once inside the Genesis simulation. Now, there's actually something solid for you to hit. Some of the controls are still up and running. Though I'm locked out. But you should still have access. You know, in the event of emergency and a colonist revives early, blah, 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 etc., etc. Crew's all dead. You're revived, and the ship's been turned into me. Seems like an emergency situation, right? There you go. Now you can use your access to get mine back. Don't worry, it should be idiot proof. Uh, I mean, user-friendly. Just tap any blinky red icon that looks like me, until it turns green. Yes! I'm back in again. Hmm, looks like the Engram archive is still safe, along with the Genesis simulation. And countermeasures set up by the crew have so far kept Rockwell from corrupting the survivors' stored memories. Wow. Rockwell's really made a mess of this place, hasn't he? I doubt this part of the ship is even salvageable. Wow. A crew member survived almost long enough to program a sequence that would separate the corrupted habitat ring. Her ring separation sequence might be a little on the messy side, but it has the advantage of being ready to go. Gotta make do with what you have, huh? It's up to us to stop him, here and now, while there's still time. Let's finish this, Survivor. The ship's nearing its destination, so we're almost out of time. After hopping all over the galaxy, scanning for a habitable world, the ship finally found one. We can't let Rockwell have that world, along with all the Earth life on this ship. You beat him once inside the Genesis simulation. Now, there's actually something solid for you to hit. This is where you fall to your knees, just like all the other ones. Please, please no, I don't want to die, etc, etc. Go on! Beg and plead! I promise I won't think less of you. Don't imagine I could think any less of you. I mean honestly, with those beady little eyes and that slack jaw. You're like a vole 
that tunneled into an abattoir. And I'm afraid it's far too late for you to try scamming back out again. Seems pretty sure of himself, huh? Probably wise to work your way up to dealing with his lordship. All right, I'm using all my reserves. The Exonet is back online one last time. Get in, blast the bugger, and let's end this survival. Do this, and you do your precious mission. Because I assure you, I will take this shit down with me. I'd better start that ring separation sequence now. You know, just in case this doesn't, uh, work. too deeply into the ship's primary systems. They're failing along with him. There's only one way to ensure this all ends here. Sorry, mate. I can't come with. And I'm almost out of time to back myself up. You'll do just fine on your own out there. You're a survivor. to me for wanting the same power she squandered. Well, I've survived worse. I promise you I will find a way out of this. I will. No, you won't. It's much too late for that. It's so bright. Helena. I'm afraid. to be relayed in the event of my deactivation. I was only an artificial construct when we first met. Just a shadow of someone who lived a long time ago. But in our time together, I got to become something new. Someone new. Not Helena. HLNA. Thank you for that. I wish I could find the words to tell you how much it meant to me. <sighs> Human language is so imprecise. But I need you to do something else now. Find your own path. Your own destiny. Build a new world here. A better world. And who knows? Maybe two lost souls can still meet again somewhere. Out among the stars. 
Goodbye, my friend. Warning. Catastrophic bioavailability. Failing. All revived lifeforms require immediate communication. Something tells me that this is the easy part. 